actually it is not that from today's embedded systems of different vendors going into a fully virtualized software, there are probably some steps in between and some different requirements of our customers from in between. The embedded systems today do have their advantages, resilient, um, quite performant for the functionality they have, very deterministic, integrated failsafe, um, very modular. Putting all of that aside, they are single devices. So if we look at big factories that we have today, a big amount of those devices are available on the shop floor. And we are already today virtualizing, for example, like years ago we started to virtualize clients and servers of HMI and distributed control systems. So, so the advantage of that for our customers was they are all bundled in one hardware, they are virtualized so they are independent on what happens on the operating system. You can administrate the operating system of a cluster where those functionalities are virtualized separately from the main functionality. That makes it a lot easier to administrate those functionalities over time, especially in regards of patching for cybersecurity, putting additional functionality into, into operation and into the installation. So it is a logic requirement of our customers to say, hey, how can you help me to get that benefit of virtualization also for the control functionality? Now, of course, it depends on what are the other requirements of our customers. For example, if we would talk about a water, um, a water system, a water network, maybe not so time critical, maybe deterministic, not so necessary, maybe no need for failsafe, much more easy, much sooner. We already have started to do that. If we would talk for machine building, production machines may be much more difficult because higher requirements on field safe and deterministic. So it definitely depends on what is the use case for the customer. And then there's one more thing I would like to add. Installed base is of the essence. Installed base of our customers is not only the boxes they install, it is also the application running on those boxes. And it's millions of people who have experience and knowledge how to engineer and service these applications. So along the way, bringing functionality in the cloud or getting IT technology in the shop floor, we need to take the people along. We have to give them tools to work with it. That is for me the essence in order to help our customers reaching the next level of productivity, flexibility, transparency, safety, documentation, and, and the only new thing, I mean, we've been doing that for, for decades, the new thing is sustainability. And digitalization in the shop floor can even help us to work on digitalization, on, on sustainability.